For those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and today I'm really excited to bring you something a little bit different to my channel. And we are talking all about fall staples that have stood the test of time. And this is really exciting because I am kind of in my own little renaissance in my life right now. I'm really trying to be a lot more mindful consumer. I want to get rid of things. I love living in an uncluttered home, and there are just other things that mean more to me than buying tons of clothes all the time now. Like there are just other things that I want to spend my time and my hard earned money on. I'm really moving away from shopping at stores that come out with a new collection every week. The reality is I'm not just going to stop buying clothes altogether. I do need to have my body clothed, but I just want to be a lot more mindful in my shopping for those things. So the idea behind this video is showing you things in my closet that have really stood the test of time that I count as classic pieces that could probably be integrated into some sort of capsule wardrobe that are still accessible because these are things that I've worn year after year after year and have no need to repurchase because they were great quality, they're in great shape, I can wear them with so many different things and they just make me happy to have in my closet. So these are some things to get you started. If you have the same taste as me, you might not even like any of these. All right, so next up we're gonna talk about shoes and these all come from the brand Solo. This is a smaller-ish company that's based out of Nashville, Tennessee, and it's actually a registered B Corp. And if you were like me, before I've been doing a lot of research on the fashion industry and consumerism in general, I really didn't know what a B Corp was. So I did take some notes for you here in case you were curious, and I'm gonna read you the definition of a B Corp right off of this sheet. B Corps are businesses that meet the highest standard of verified social and environmental performance, public transparency, and legal accountability to balance profit and purpose, using business as a force for good. And I think that is definitely true for this brand. They are extremely transparent on their website about their shortcomings before becoming a B Corp and why they you know, have made this huge effort to go through that process, which has a lot of third-party verification for the duration of your business's lifetime. So very rigorous standards to become a B Corp and they're very proud to be one. But I wanna dive into showing you the shoes that have been in my closet for years that are still in great shape, that still have many more years of life left in them. Let's jump into it. Okay, so the first shoes, these are the Isa boot. And I've had these for probably two to three years now. And you can see around the top how it kind of is discolored right here. And that's honestly from my blue jeans. These are kind of a brushed leather that makes it feel a little bit more like suede. I will say this is something that you do have to take care of. This is not a, a shoe that I would go stomping around in the rain in, but these have held up so incredibly well. You can see that the bottoms are a little bit worn, which is a good thing because they are a little bit slippery at first because it is like a true leather bottom. These are kind of one of those like unisex kind of style shoes. I have mine in a mid shade. I did look on their website before I filmed this video to see which shades were available because while they do always have the same products, the same inventory in general, sometimes different colors are sold out. So right now you can get a shade that's a step up from this that's a bit lighter and then they also have a step darker. These are super comfortable. These don't have a very long break-in period in my experience. Because these are like true leather shoes, they are a lot tighter. It's not like putting on a tennis shoe or like a sandal or something like that. So I do typically go up a half size if that helps you in your shopping at all. I have too many favorites from this brand, but I think that this may be my most worn boot from them. And this is the classic Chelsea boot. Again, this is that brushed leather feel. And I noticed on their website that they've kind of changed the Chelsea boot to be an all weather boot, which I think is genius because again, I don't feel super comfortable wearing these in the rain or the snow or anything like that. You can see where I dropped something on it and it definitely left a mark. If I just did general shoe care, it would take care of most of that. And they do have shoe care kits so that you can properly take care of this leather. But I love these, such a classic style. They go with absolutely everything. This is in, like their mid-tone shade. I wanna say this is called Chestnut, but these are so easy to put on. Again, not a super long break-in period, and legitimately you can wear these for years and years and years and years. I love that they kind of have not a pointy toe, not a rounded toe, but something right there in the middle. Again, I went a half size up in these and I have these in a seven and a half. These are definitely my most worn shoes from Nisolo. 
I do want to take a break and warn you that these are not inexpensive shoes. These are actually quite expensive. I think that they're entirely worth the investment and they do run sales sometimes to so be on the lookout for that, especially around the holidays. And they are a partner of Rakuten. And if you've never signed up for Rakuten, definitely stop what you're doing right now. Pause this video, scroll down to my description box because I'll have a link there for you where you can go and sign up and earn $10 on your first purchase of $25 or more. But it is legitimately a no frills cashback shopping website and Solo has a percentage cash back with them all the time. I just recently purchased a pair of shoes that I'll show you in a second and got 4% cash back on that. Every dollar counts, especially when you're doing a ton of online shopping for the upcoming holidays. So keep that in mind. Man, I think I want these in like every single color because I wear these so much. I think that the heel height on this Dari boot is what it's called is just absolutely perfect. It is comfortable as I'll get out, especially for a shoe with a heel. This one did have a little bit more of a break-in period. I noticed that the toe box on this seemed a little bit more narrow than I was used to. They have this great zipper in the back. They have these in a variety of colors and these are all great all-weather boots. You can wear these in the rain. One of my friends who lives in New York has talked about getting these a million times because she's like, yes, when I'm commuting and walking to the subway and stuff, you don't wanna ruin suede shoes. It's just not a practical thing to have if you're living in the city. And these are the perfect answer to that. I have these in black. I felt like that was kind of a classic choice. And I kinda of wanna get these in a brown because that I feel like is what I wear most often. I have some other boots from Soul Society. They're not even available anymore, which is why they're not being featured in this video because they haven't stood the test of time. And last but not least is my newest addition to the Nisolo Solo collection. And these are the Reina High Top sneakers. Now I realize that these are not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. These are a little bit funky. These honestly are more like a boot. I would not go so far as to say that these are more like a tennis shoe or anything like that. You definitely have a break-in period with these. This leather is kind of tough. I tried to order my true size seven in these and it was way too tight. So definitely stick with going a half size up in my experience. These smell amazing because it's super new leather, but these are wildly comfortable for like a leather boot shoe that comes up high on your ankle. It doesn't have rubbing. It's very padded up here. And I just love the look. I just think that this is going to be so cute with like some jeans and a long sweater, but you could also wear this maybe with a skirt and like a casual t-shirt tied up. I just feel like these are versatile and fun. Something a little bit different. Excellent quality because it's from Nisolo. Solo. It even has a Vibram sole, a long wear sole that's really gonna stand up over time. This is the color Bone, but they also have these in a brown leather if you're interested in something that's a little bit darker. All right, next up is a closet basic that I feel like a lot of people have a lot of. I just wanted to call attention to these specifically if you are still on the hunt for really good jeans. If you watched my Vlogmas from last year, it was the first time that I had received these, so I've now had these for almost a year, and I love these. These are in great shape. They have washed really well. They've held up nicely. They haven't faded. And these come from Everlane. I'll put the exact name on the screen for you. These are awesome. They don't stretch out. They don't leave your knees baggy. They really stay the same size around your waist. They don't do a ton of like gapping or anything when you bend over because these are a mid-rise skinny jean. The reason I recommend mid-rise is because on shorter torsos, High rise can sometimes come way too high. Like when you're sitting down, it's almost going over your rib cage. If you're short, you know what I mean. And these jeans, the mid rise is perfect for me and fits me like a normal high rise jean would for somebody who is a more average to tall height. I also have this very true blue indigo kind of color. These are not super expensive. I wanna say that each pair of these cost $68, but Everlane, they've started running sales a lot lately. Madewell also has some good jeans. It is just so hard for me to find my size at that store in pants. I love a lot of other things that they offer, but for jeans there, they never have petite sizes or short sizes in store, and so it's very hard for me to try them on. So another customization thing that Everlane has on their pants is the length, so you can get ankles, you could get regular or you can get long. So I got mine in a size 25 ankle, which fits me more like a normal pant. But the regular is probably what those of you who are average or taller need to get. You'll notice that Everlane focuses a lot on basics. They don't come out with a ton of new collections. They'll come out with a couple of new things here and there, but they really try to perfect the limited inventory that they have, which again is why I'm recommending this because they stand the test of time. So really, really have been happy with my Everlane jeans. 
jeans. The biggest category I think that we have here is outerwear. Very important in the fall as temperatures begin to drop a little bit. And so I tried to incorporate those of different weights and lengths just so that depending on where you live in the country, something may appeal to you. This green cotton kind of army jacket from J. Crew is something that I feel like they have available every single year. For me, outerwear is always a really big hit from J. Crew, specifically from J. Crew Factory, because I feel like the real J. Crew is really expensive and j crew factory tends to have basically the exact same items that are found in their normal store for a lot cheaper so this green cotton jacket i wear all the time in the fall in texas it takes a little bit longer to cool down <laughs> than uh, other states in the country and so this is kind of my go-to weight for a pretty long time into the fall and winter seasons this one in particular has a drawstring that you can pull so it can be extremely flattering I have mine in the size extra small. I would say that this runs true to size. Sometimes I try to get my jackets in a size small if I wanna layer things under it just in case I anticipate putting on a thicker sweater. This one I think is already accommodating for that. So I don't wanna say it runs big because extra small is my size and it is exactly what I need in this jacket. Now this exact one with these exact pockets may not be available. Sometimes they tweak things and make some changes, but they always have some sort of green army style jacket. So while we're talking about green green jackets, we might as well talk about my barber jacket. I have had this for, I got this jacket when I was a junior in college and I graduated college in 2014 and it's still in wonderful shape. Now, if you are a barber jacket owner, please don't judge me for the lack of wax that's on this jacket right now. I need to re-wax it. Barber, I feel like has been around forever. These are traditionally like hunting jackets. So you'll notice that they have a ton of different pockets and different buttons and clips that make things easy to access. And something that I really like about my particular jacket is that it does come with a hood. This is definitely not the traditional, most common barber jacket feature that you'll find. And I had a little trouble finding a hooded one on their website, but if I am able to find one, I'll be sure to link it down below. Either way, these are extremely classic, like the Queen of England wears a barber jacket. These are a huge investment. I will say I did get mine in London, which was kind of exciting. So this was my souvenir from the trip. You can wear these in the rain. I wouldn't say like the pouring down rain, but because it's a wax jacket, it actually does repel that water. It is cotton, so it is breathable. I have mine in a USA size four. I probably could have sized down for a two, but like I mentioned earlier, I do like to allow ample room for me to layer things under with when it comes to jackets. And I definitely did not want to buy this jacket too small. I wanted this to like last me for my entire lifetime. Next up is my classic little leather jacket that I got. Mine's in a moto style, and this comes from the brand Blank NYC. I got this in a Nordstrom sale, I want to say two or three years ago. And I feel like this is my go-to like going to dinner with friends jacket. I love that it has this gold kind of contrasting detail. I feel like oftentimes these leather jackets are always silver, so I feel like this is something that makes it a little bit different. And it has these gold zippers on the sleeves too, so you can actually roll it up if you want to, if that's your style. But this honestly has gotten like even better with time. It was super stiff when I first got it, but the more that I've worn it, the more that it's kind of like shaped to my body. And this is not real leather. With the Nordstrom sale, I ended up paying like $50 for this. One of the better investments that I've ever made from that Nordstrom sale. I have mine again in a size small. I did size up one size because I didn't want this to be extremely fitted. Again, I bring this up because leather jackets have been around forever. I feel like if you've had your eye on this, definitely go ahead and get it. I have worn mine more times than I can count. It's just a good staple. And again, this company comes out with this leather jacket every single year. It's like a hot selling item. I would have even probably paid double for this for the amount of times that I've worn it and the fact that it keeps on being in style every single year. And the last two outerwear pieces that I want to mention are both these pea coats, something that's definitely your final outer layer, but is a little bit more formal, dressed up, and definitely a classic style. This one comes from Madewell, and this is their window pane jacket. They did just re-release this again this year, but they released it in a rust color, which I also think serves as a great neutral. They don't have it available in black, which I'm really bummed about because I feel like this little window pane black jacket is something that I'm gonna have forever. I loved that it was something a little bit different. It wasn't just a basic black coat, but it matches absolutely everything. I also love that when
when you flip up the collar, it kind of has this gray detail here. And this was actually something that Brian got me for Christmas last year. So it is also quite special. I wore this so much last winter, got a ton of compliments. It's just a very flattering, very classic shape. I got mine in the size extra small. I did not size up to a small because this is supposed to be more of a tailored look. I can still layer this on top though. Like these overcoats are made to be worn with other layers. So that's already kind of taken into consideration with the size in my opinion. A couple of things that I wanna point out that I love about this jacket. Since this one isn't available, maybe you can find one that's similar. I love that the buttons are just black. They don't stand out. They're not super contrasting to the color of the coat because I already feel like there's so much great detail happening in the pattern that you just don't need that. And I also love that the pockets are not obtrusive and they continue on with the pattern. That to me is what makes it look expensive. The continuity looks good. I feel like sometimes if you're trying to buy coats like this kind of cheap, they wouldn't even bother to make that line up. They would just throw a pocket on there. You get that the pattern's kind of the same. So that's something that really sets this apart. You can tell that it's good quality. It's lined. Ugh. I just love this coat. And last but certainly not least is just my lighter color option when it comes to a nice overcoat. And this one I've had, this is actually gonna be my third or fourth season with this coat. I can't remember when I got it. And this comes from J. Crew. This is their stadium jacket, I think is what it's called, but it's kind of a cocoon style coat. This has held up really well over the years. There's not a lot of pilling or wear and tear. I really love the gold hardware on this jacket for the zippers. And again, I just love how simple the pockets are. They're very easy to access. You don't have to contend with buttons. The pockets are lined just like the inside of this jacket is. It's just super nice, incredibly warm. And I love the kind of just like standing up collar. I love that it doesn't flap down because that's something that makes the style a bit different from that Madewell one. It doesn't have buttons. Again, another thing that differentiates it. And this is a little bit more of a boxier shape. I feel like the Madewell jacket is a little bit more flattering and does kind of show your true figure a little bit more than this. But I truly love both styles, which is why they're both living in my closet. So this is a really exciting video for me to film, just to get into the fall spirit. It's always fun to kind of pull your next season's clothes out. I just wanna reiterate that none of this is super inexpensive. These are all investment pieces because they are something that's gonna be in your closet for a really long time. And in my opinion, those staple items, those classic pieces that are able to be worn year after year after year are totally worth the money. So hopefully you liked watching this video as much as I did making it. And if you liked this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!